Hello, I'm Jessica Boyer with your SCV News Break for Friday, August 12th. Los Angeles County just received some more help for the fire season. The Super Scoopers are back in Los Angeles County for a 23rd year. Los Angeles County Fire Chief Daryl Osby and Quebec Government Representative Elizabeth Mackay spoke during a press conference Friday about the early arrival of the aircraft. Um, I'm pleased to welcome back the Super Scoopers this year and also our Erickson Helitanker. Um, the Los Angeles County Fire Department has a dedicated air fleet that we operate each and every day for our, our normal fire routines and our normal fire responsibilities, our, our paramedic responsibilities. During our fire months, um, we try to bring in additional aircraft to augment our existing uh, aircraft. As you can recognize, this is the fifth year of an ongoing drought. So we were able to negotiate with both of our contractors to get their aircraft in early. Typically, we would not have them here until September 1st, but as you can see, we put the Super Scoopers in service uh, August the 8th this past Monday and the Hell Tanker before then. So we are very pleased that we have the aircraft here with us. As you might already know, Quebec and California are close partners in their efforts to fight and adapt to climate change. Since the signing of the first CL-415 agreement in 1994, this is the first time that the CL-415's services are required so early in the season. County Supervisor Michael D'Antonovich spoke about the importance of the county's fire air support system. The Super Scooper costs approximately 37 to 38 million dollars and we have a, a five-year contract with Quebec. It's approximately five million dollars a year and the Board of Supervisors a month ago has directed the Chief Executive Officer and our Chief uh, Daryl Osby to study how we can enhance our air support system. Should we acquire the Super Scooper or should we continue to lease the Super Scooper? Should we look at bringing in partners or other municipalities within the County of Los Angeles, the other jurisdictions, be it the federal government, the state government, and other counties in Southern California? And that report as to how we can enhance our air support, be it the helitanker, along with our aircraft, the Black Hawk and others that are fighting fires, how we can upgrade those and ensure that we maintain, maintain a support system that protects life and property. Check out the full press conference on scvtv.com. The Santa Clarita Valley's Olympians are continuing to have success. Kim Rode won her sixth straight medal on Friday during the Olympic skeet shooting competition. Rode scored the bronze after a three round shoot off with China's Meng Wei. Rode has won medals in six straight Olympics, making her the first female Olympian to do so. Rode uses the Oak Tree Gun Club in Santa Clarita as her home range. Saugus graduate Abby Whitesell finished seventh in the women's 100 freestyle event during the Rio Olympics on Thursday. Whitesell has already won a silver medal as part of the women's 4x100 meter freestyle relay. She is swimming in the 50 meter freestyle prelims on Friday. And Hart grad Anthony Irvin swam in the men's 50 freestyle on Thursday. He qualified for the finals with a tie for the fastest time in the semis of 21.46 seconds. He has already won a gold medal in the men's 4x100 meter, meter freestyle relay after swimming in the prelims of the event. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, see what's happening this weekend. Hey George, there's breaking news. AM 1220 KHTS. I'm George Cummings with breaking news here in the Santa Clarita Valley. As it turns out we have an emergency situation Let's going go. on. Ready in five, four. Breaking news from the Santa Clarita Valley. There's an emergency situation happening in Saugus right now, and our news crew is on the scene for more information. Welcome back. Coming up this weekend are a variety of events. Concerts in the Park continues with contemporary jazz sounds of Tizer featuring Karen Briggs. Driven by an explosive mix of jazz, rock, and classical music, keyboardist composer Leo Tizer and violinist Karen Briggs bring a high-powered collection of instrumental music. The LA Summerfest is also continuing this weekend. The performance of A Midsummer Night's Dream is playing this last weekend. 
Check out the show Friday and Sunday and find tickets on lasummerfest.org. Canyon Theatre Guild's production of The Wizard of Oz continues Saturday at 8 and Sunday at 2 at the Santa Clarita Valley Performing Arts Center. And that Love and Feeling production continues Saturday at 8 and Sunday at 2 at the Canyon Theatre Guild. Don't forget to check out the Route 66 Classic Car Show on Saturday. And finally, the NFL writer for the LA Times, Sam Farmer, will speak at Congregation Beth Shalom Sunday at 11. There were some big headlines this past week. The parents of a 14-year-old boy struck and killed by a driver who ran a red light in Saugus are suing the city of Santa Clarita for negligence surrounding their son's death. Teresa and Michael Savaiki initially filed their lawsuit against both the city and Ralph Steiger, the 75-year-old driver who pleaded no contest over their son Wyatt's death Monday. A Canyon Country man has also been sentenced to 100 years to life for murdering both his wife and sister in 2013. A judge found 63-year-old Lance Anderson guilty of two counts of first-degree murder with the special allegations of intentional discharge of a firearm causing death. Well, that's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Boyer.